Okay, so, alrighty. Hello and welcome everyone back to War Robots with a massive giveaway and a leak hunt live stream. Hold on a second. Getting myself locked into Discord right now. Hold on, <laughs> it's still preparing. So, there we go. So, we'll be ready any moment now, okay? So, get yourself something to drink, some something to snack. I may need one or two minutes before we go, all right? And then I explain everything, the giveaway and the leak hunt and everything. I know it says start on screen, uh, I still need a minute, hold on. Okay. <clears throat> Let's turn this music down and go with this playlist. There we go, okay. What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to this massive War Robots League Hunt livestream on this beautiful Sunday here, together with a 200 Lynx Boys robot giveaway. Um, that's this real cool thing right there. Um, and uh, yeah, you should see everything. Yeah, I think it's all working fine. Um, so that is happening. Uh, of course, I'll, I'll go into the detail about the League Hunt any second now, but uh, first, the giveaway. Um, my moderators will take a 100, um, 100 of the giveaways uh, or prize uh, winners out of this live stream, and 100 more will do later when this live stream becomes an on-demand video on YouTube. So you can win now 100, and then later uh, 100 people who couldn't make it to the live stream still have a chance to win for the next two days before I draw the winners. Okay. So, but 100 of them will be drawn right here, right now, with you live, okay? Try not to spam the comments too much with it, just send your ID and platform once every 20 minutes maybe, that would be cool. And um, because too much spamming will also ultimately uh, have some problems for you. Okay, so, um, about the leak hunts, you all know it probably, I think, that because uh, on many YouTube channels we have it going on. Uh, there are six questions. You'll find a link down in the description pinned comment. Uh, no, yeah, later pinned comment. And also the Nightbot will post it per periodically, uh, the link to our, um, well, uh, leak hunt quiz. There are six questions in there. Uh, I think I can show it. Uh, hold on a second. I can show this uh, for to you right here. Let me just quickly open that up so I can uh, show it to you. Uh, bup, bup, bup. Live, there is the link. I am terribly prepared. I'm really sorry, guys, but I haven't live streamed actually in four months. <laughs> uh, I, I seem to have forgotten all about it. No. All right, so here we go. Um, that's the page you're going to get to once you have it booted up. Um, and uh, there you see question number one, question number two, three, four, five, six, and then you can send it out and participate in the big leak hunt giveaway and uh, live stream. It's a not not the giveaway we have live here. It's a different a different thing. Um, uh, but you could win something really cool. And uh, four of these six questions uh, you can get on YouTube on various channels and I'll be summarizing all four for you also in this live stream right here. So you get all the questions here. Two extra ones are on the social media of War Robots, which you need to find there. 
or also if you follow you know the YouTube videos especially about certain test servers you might also find the answers but uh, let's go for uh, yeah some uh, some gameplay and uh, and uh, that was the uh, yeah so let me let's just start with some gameplay uh, the Lynx robot and then we're going to start having some fun uh, and explaining a few of those questions um, and also it might be interesting or worth noting uh, there is a um, one question in there about War Robots Frontiers. Uh, for those who don't know, it's a new War Robots game on the Unreal 5 engine. So, AAA game engine, insanely awesome graphics and physics and everything. And all that in the War Robots franchise and universe. And we're going to play that later too. Okay, so I'm gonna boot up War Robots Frontiers with you guys and gals later. And uh, I already see a bunch of donations rolling in. Uh, I'll be trying to cover them in a second, uh, just mention them. Uh, we're here, by the way, with a new Lynx robot from the 9... Ah, 9.0 uh, update, I think. Uh, and uh, it has a new stake weapon on it. It provides a bit of a shield, uh, and uh, and the Lynx has the unique ability to execute an enemy when he is at low HP. Um, personally, not big a bit of a f fan of this. Uh, I feel feel like this uh, execution thing will cause quite a few problems in free for all, where it's all about getting kills. Um, but uh, yeah, let's just let's just have some fun and show it to you here, right? So this guy is shooting me. I'm in the meantime just shooting him. He's ca he now can come close enough for me to have some fun with him. I'm activating my built-in uh, weapon here and uh, the execution thing. Is he in the right HP? Maybe I... Yep, there we go. Executed. See that? That was a Skyros ball that's next to impossible to actually kill. But we got it because execution takes effect on robots at 25% and lower, on titans at 20... Uh, no, at 15% and lower. You guys actually told me this in the comments of this one video. I asked you, what's the difference between those two numbers? And you all told me, aha, yeah, it's this. So, I'm taking their beacon. And after every match, uh, I think we're, we're gonna do a question. What do you think about that? Sounds sounds good, right? Every After every match, we're gonna do a question. So I'm gonna bring up a nice shoot for me here. Doing some nice damage to this dude. He can't even go through my shield at this point. Uh, but my nice harpoon weapons are having some fun with him right there. The Orochi uh, is already triggering his stealth even though I wasn't even shooting him. That was too early, friend. Um, face shifting. Okay. And then coming out of face shift with the next ability running. Uh, whoa, wait a minute. I'm, am I not stealthed? I guess I'm not stealthed. Okay. I th oh, I thought I was- Hey, wait a minute, dude, I'm st <laughs> I was- Was I not in phase shift? Alright, anyways, uh, let's go with, um, let's go with the Mars robot. I also put these, um, the same weapons category, it's the medium versions now, on the Mars. I've never ran this before. Let's throw the turret over. Ah, dang it, my turret bounced off the wall. Ugh. I <laughs> wanted it to land on the enemy base and not bounce off the wall. Alright, um... So every single one of those uh, stake weapon also has a small shield generator. However, I did hear, I'm not sure if it's true, we need to figure this out and test it maybe. I heard that the, um, that they sometimes they have just one HP shield and they still block a full shot. And there is a bit of a problem with that possibly. Okay, let's go in. Oh, oh he's actually triggering. Um, nice, he's getting attacked there from our scorpion friend. Okay, let's see what we can do about the Titan. Okay, I am shooting as much as I can, but there is a lot of stuff shooting us too. <laughs> Man, okay, we're gone. Good, good What? Uh, let's go with the Sirius Titan. We're gonna be absolutely serious now. Alright, there we go, full firepower against this Typhon. And then, oh, this guy just went back into stealth instantly. Oh, that, wait a minute, that was my healing turret. No! <laughs> I, sh I shot the wrong turret out. I wanted the other turret first. Uh, now, so we're in our turret range. Should be able to do a lot of damage there. I think a Titan is shooting me because I just took way too much damage for just, uh, for just regular robots. I feel like a Titan must have been shooting at me from somewhere. I, d I didn't see him, though. I didn't, didn't see the Titan. All right, let's choose the Lynx here with uh, the um, corrosive weapons. Um, the Bane. It's something I never ran before, and I wanted to run it because I like the style of this weapon. With this, uh... Uh-oh. Okay. I guess we would be dying here now. 
uh, anytime soon or very soon. I don't know if he's got cloaking detection there. Uh, you can't go inside his shield, that's right. Uh, the Typhon has a very unique shield where you can't go inside of. And it takes us forever to bring down his shield. Unreal. Alright, so we're running out of robots actually. Interesting. I have a atomizers and nucleons here on this thing. Uh, by the way, I'm really not sure why when the, the nether robot dashes, it appears like he's speed hacking around. It's not a speed hack. It's just his dashing. And but it, it just it just it's just a very weird thing how it looks when it happens. And uh, also you can see the lasers from the enemy titan. They partially go right through my uh, my Imugi. Um, it's still a big problem with the hitbox. I've also mentioned this in another video. And um, I'm really hoping for a quick fix because uh, this is uh, it's a real problem. Wow, wow. I am just taking so insanely much damage, it's crazy. Alright, let's get behind cover if we can. Enemy seems to be really controlling this engagement now. They're on our base with pretty much all beacons now, capped. They still have that flying Ming that you can't that we can't do anything about. Alright, and my atomizers, yeah, they're not really doing that well of a job anymore. They used to be a little stronger back in the days. Now they're like, hmm. Meh. <laughs> They're still doing some damage, but it's just not so much. Uh, okay, so lost the first match, but that's fine. Let's just uh, go and have a look at the donations that came in. And yeah. So there was a lot of them coming in, by the way. Uh, we had uh, Jesse uh, Mackensley Mac or something with uh, Canadian dollars. He said uh, his idea and platform. Um, you can do that, of course, but uh, my moderator is uh, uh, drawing the winners. So thanks, man, for the contribution. WTX Games uh, has been a 29-month um, gold member on the channel. Uh, bist du dieses Jahr auf der Gamescom? Ich bin auf jeden Fall da. Uh, uh, so, uh, he is asking me if I'm going to Gamescom this year, which is also in Germany here. Um, and uh, I'm not actually sure if I go there this year, but maybe I will. Maybe I will. If I do, uh, then I will t tell you, and maybe we can sync up and meet. Uh, Jesse sent another uh, thing message there. Lone spanker with two dollars. How about a nice chat delay for the uh, spammers? I, I I think I think I do have a bit of. Oh, you mean um, uh, what's it called here? These the slow mode, right? I already activated it, but not so much. Mr. Vegeta with uh, two dollars. Uh, hey Manny, glad to see you again. Been some time. Yeah, it's been really some time. It's like four months since I did my last live stream. That's crazy. Uh, Kevin Nath with uh, Indian rupees there coming with his ID. Thanks for the giveaway, he says. Jail with $10 through the super chat. Just send in 10 without anything said. <laughs> Thank you, Jail Man. You're awesome. So, uh, let me just go into um, the first question we have here about um, the, uh, the leak hunt. So, uh, let me just check out which question is which. Um, the answer is here. Which one is the major feature? Is it the first turn? Yeah. All right. And uh, so, the major features. That would be this question number one. One of the next major features in War Robots will be called. Um, let me just zoom in a little so you can see a little better. Um, when you open this link, you have to make your choice here. And um, I'm not sure which of our War Robots YouTubers have already done this question, but since I'm summarizing them all the four that we get on YouTube, um, the answer of this one is actually um, titles. And for that, I should probably uh, open um, this screenshot here. Mm. How do I do it? All right, let me let me just quickly do this. The answer is titles, and I show you what it's going to look like, right? Um, let me just open that real quick. Uh, we have, by the way, a one and a half hours live stream or something, so we have plenty of time and I will be showing so much new stuff to you. Um, so, and this would be what we're talking about. We are seeing a title. This is a hangar screenshot and the top left you see Psycho 7 and Space Tech Guy. And so people will be able to have titles 
uh, upon t together to their name. I'm not exactly sure how you earn them um, and how this will exactly work, uh, but um, uh, titles in the corner and you can show the titles that you obtained uh, in the game. So um, yeah. Uh, also, what was it new? Uh, also new spider as uh, a sniper robot. Yeah. Um, that is something coming up as well. So hold on. Uh, let's get back to um, <laughs> so many links and so many windows open. I don't know what to do. Let's get back into the game for now. And uh, yeah, so we're keeping on. Uh, that was uh, the first one. So the first question here uh, is uh, the answers would be titles. Obviously, we are accepting the terms and such um, that will be coming to War Robots as the next, as one of the next major features. Um, and then we have the next question coming up. We'll, we'll make a match, play a match, and then we're gonna do that, right? Let's see if we can play a free for all match. And uh, I won't be able to go too much into detail about questions. Um, coming from you guys here uh, because uh, most of the questions being posted are or most of the comments are just ID and platform at this point um, let's see if we can throw up that turret uh, throw over this turret convince him to do something and now that he is in fact doing something I'm just gonna face shift and uh, and then I'm gonna go behind the wall here Oh, wait a minute, I have the 200 meter harpoon weapons, that's right. 150 meters, actually, wait a minute, I made a mistake before. It's not 200, it's 150 meters, these harpoon weapons. He's face shifting, thinking he might get into another flight, but I don't think it's gonna be enough time for him. Nope. Alright, so the first kill, we're on a sniper map, and I'm running the shortest range weapon we have in War Robots. <laughs> Probably not the best idea. Probably not my best idea today, but um, let's throw over the turret. Did I say throw up the turret before? Definitely not what I had in mind. And boots! My kill! Nice! There's quite some damage output rolling in. Let's see what we can do about this dude. It's a Hades. No, it's not a Hades. What is it? I'm not even sure what it is. It is a Hades. I'm face shifting right through his cannon shots here. And then he comes out of that ability. Pop, pop, pop. Let's see if we can walk in inside his potential next shield. Because he ha really has a trouble getting through those shields that we have. Um, but yeah, what I was going to say before, uh, I heard that these new stake weapons and so on, they have a, they have a bit of a, a thing where they have where they block sh shots even when they're at ultra low durability. And uh, I'm I'm pretty sure that's not intended. Um, there should be like a downtime between uh, the uh, pop-ups of the individual small shields. Come on! Oh, one second before, dude. One second. All right, he's gonna get me with that, but I'm face shifting now through his release, so he's not gonna blind me, and I'm gonna come out victorious. Wow, dude, the the the, <laughs> the Mars robot is actually really good with these uh, with these new weapons because after you throw the turret, uh, you get massively fast, so you can get in range very quickly. So he just dropped my shields. He's emptying his entire clip. I'm gonna get myself added uh, shield here from the battleship. Okay, and he's blocking some of the damage. Now he's doing shield breaking effects. I'm face shifting through it. The turret is killing him. I'm face shifting and the turret is disposing of him. <laughs> and it actually killed him in stealth? Wait a minute. The, the turret doesn't fire at things that are in stealth, right? So I guess rockets were still on their way. Huh. Interesting. Is that is that an angler? No. It's not an angler. But my built-in rockets are firing. Face shifting right before my shield would have gone away. And my last stand. I'm underneath him, so he can't target me now. Which is really good. He would be targeting us. Boom. Oh, he got the kill. Uh, Come on. Come on, last stand. Go away. There we go. Look at that harpoon effect. I like it. It's pretty cool. Um, okay, so ugh, I lost my last stand through the uh, airstrike here. It was unfortunate. Okay, I'm gonna face shift and my turret is gonna do the, the rest. Look. <laughs> turret just kills him. Ow! And then I got taken out. Alright, uh, so what else could we use? Maybe the Imugi with, um, 
with a thing. But you know what? I think after this match, I'm gonna uh, put the Emugi out of this hangar because the hitbox problem is just too dramatic in my opinion and it is just too impossible for enemies to deal effective damage to it. Um, there's basically, for those who don't know, there's basically like a hole in the hitbox and many shots, including even lasers, which you would assume have perfect accuracy, go through the hole and basically not connect with the actual robot hitbox, not dealing damage. It's a huge problem because it makes this robot that's already pretty hard to kill with a very short stealth cooldown even harder to take down. So I know he's gonna try and jump on us. There it is. So I stay a little further away from him. And with my atomizers, I'm trying to drop him down to last stand. Then maybe we can make him slower with the airstrike. And then just go in brawling phase mode here. Because atomizers never need to reload, never. You just fired. The only thing they do is they they overheat in time, and they lose accuracy. So you lose. So you basically at, at range you do less damage because you're missing many shots. Um, the more you fire, but at short range that doesn't matter because you're so close before them. Like even if you sh like spread your shots a lot, you're still going to have no problem connecting them at that range. I don't think we get the kill. Yeah. We don't, we just don't have the firepower um, for it. We're just using these smaller weapons here. Okay, I'm behind the wall from the Titan. At the same time, I'm doing some fun here. Okay, I got this kill. Hmm. I wonder, I hope he doesn't have clo cloaking, but it, it is a really good idea nowadays to go with uh, cloak detection. I wonder if I can beat him in this short range battle here. I have a shield now. So because, remember, we're never having to reload. But you can also see how his weapons partially go through. And uh... Ooh, yeah. What? Dude, the guy got the kill with this retaliator. <laughs> he just fires like one shot with his machine guns and he, he takes the kill with that shot. That is ridiculous. That is heavily ridiculous right there. Alright, so, uh, what am I gonna do now? Yo, these atomizers are actually still doing quite some damage, man. Maybe I can steal the back? Yeah! Revenge! I stole the kill back from him. He stole the kill from me and I'm gonna steal the riches back. Oh wait, he, he got cloaking detection. Yeah, he has cloak detection. Not cool. Gotta go away from him there. Oh, and airstrike on me too. Really? I need to wait for my shoe to pop, uh, for my teleportation to come in. Where's my portal? So now I'm behind him. That means he's gonna do the shockwave. I'm not gonna use my stealth now. I'm just starting here in front of him and pop! Nice! But again, I think some of those kills would not happen if we didn't have... Why am I so fast? Do you see my speed? Look at this speed! Dude, this is probably the Kestrel drone that speeds us up when we get a kill. Okay, ah! Again with the lasers. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, they get him so quick. Look how fast I can cross the entire map. Oh, it's also... No, no, no. It's... Wait, it's a Nightingale. I thought it's an Imugi too, but it's a Nightingale. Wait, I, I have actually have Quantum Radar, so I can attack him here. But my Quantum Radar didn't last long enough. Of course. Whoa. Okay, cloaking ra uh, quantum radar active. See that even the lasers go through this hitbox. No, I'm gonna remove this robot from the hangar now because it's not fair. And it really, Pixonic needs to fi be fixed very quickly because this is a big issue. Um, <clears throat> So, match is almost over. We... maybe... But there's three enemies still. It's rare that after such a long 
time there are three enemies still. Normally, like, you have we run out of enemies quick, but... What? Oh, I'm too close to him. Okay. Uh, I need to make better teleports. You know what? We're making a really good teleport now. We're flying over there, setting a teleport point back where I started, and one over here. Get over here! Yeah. Uh, oh, can I get the kill? Yes, definitely deserve. 100% my kill. No one else deserved that one, of course. <laughs> Absolutely not stolen at all. So. And pop. Now probably somebody's gonna respawn over there. I don't know where they respawn. Ah, there. Nice. So. I got over here now. Our shields are protecting us for a bit. And then when the shield ends, I'm just gonna start to fly stealth. Why am I this fast? It, it seems like we're too fast. We shouldn't be this fast. Right? Am I crazy? Wow. Three seconds, two seconds. All right, so free for all is over. And uh, we're gonna ch change the hitbox. Uh, Problem robot. So then we go to the next question. Question number two. All right. Uh, let's pick something else instead of this. Uh, maybe a Fafnir or Capri. Oh, Capri with Spark sounds fun, but I don't have pilot equipped for him. That would take too long now. Um, I need something where I have a pilot inside and everything is already prepared. Mm. A Seraph, perhaps? Pilot is inside. Um, we only need a drone for him. And one more. Or, yeah, just go with this. Okay, Shield Breaker is no longer the current meta. The, it was prepared from the old meta. Quantum Radar is a new meta now. Uh, and we need a shield. Uh, no, a drone, I mean. Paralysis? Yeah, let's go with paralysis. It's still a, it's still a really decent drone. Uh, although, paralysis really... You know what? Let's go with re re advanced repair. Because repair re uh, paralysis drone works in combination with the repair unit. So you need to kind of use it uh, in this way. To make the best use of it. What uh, weapon do, can we put? Ah, oh, maybe avalanche, yeah. Been a while since I used those. Let's go with double avalanche. I like this these rockets. All right, so let's have a look at the question, the next one, uh, and that will be which pilot will make a comeback in the upcoming War Robots update. And um, I happen to know the answer right here. Um, and that will be wait. Ah, this is okay. There are two two questions with pilots. I am. Um, I may not forget this. So this was the new feature, uh, which pilot makes a comeback in the upcoming update. Next robot's role will be, and which classic robot will make a comeback in the upcoming update. And um, next map, and uh, frontiers. Hmm. I'm a little... F uh, okay. Come back in the next update, and which will in Frontiers, yes. Major major next update will be called. Now I'm getting a little confused which, uh, which of these questions are from YouTube. And which of these questions are from... Okay. Hold on a sec, give me a second. Mm. Okay. Those are four questions. Titles. The next, okay, so the next answer I can give you is uh, for the upcoming War Robots update, which pilot will make a comeback? And the answer is Nessa Riggs. Um, let's go back here. Um, by the way, uh, it's not Nessa Riggs, uh, but uh, when I saw this picture, from this lady here uh, as a as our pilot for the lynx <laughs> i was like wait a minute man this do you see how she looks she is so beautiful i think she just came right from the catwalk 
<laughs> to sit in the robot and fight in the battles. Man, she just looks. Uh, she was like spent a lot of time in uh, in in salon to get like this and uh, make everything perfect. Yeah, so uh, Nessa Ricks is the new pilot. Um, this one we have Victoria here. Uh, which one was Nessa Riggs before? I'm trying to figure out... Ooh, Nessa Riggs. Was it... Uh, was it maybe... Nightingale or was it... Uh, oh, I don't remember which which uh, robot Nessa Riggs was before. But she's gonna make a comeback for the next War Robots um, update. Um, and so... And you know what? Let's let's make a little break here. Go into Steam. Um, little break. Uh, open Steam, and go to my uh, games uh, here on the bottom. War Robots Frontiers. Because uh, let's just answer the next question as well, which is, uh, which pilot, which which character will make an appearance in War Robots Frontiers? So for those of you who don't know, this is the War Robots Frontiers game, uh, the one that's coming up any second now. Oh great, <laughs> it needs an update. Uh, yeah, as usual, I'm wonderfully prepared for everything, but we should be ready for it any second now. We are on super strong hardware, so things should go really fast. All right, there we go. We're starting up War Robots Frontiers. Let's play a match. I also recorded two more videos for it. It will come soon. Yes, you see my own account in War Robots Frontiers, many gaming. Um, and uh, I think I should switch this because reason, because of the other video I've made. Um, but, so we have various robots here that, um, and the cool thing about Frontiers is, not only is the graphics insane, you can build robots from scratch. You don't have a, a, a set robot with a set abilities, you have a, a robot that's built of shoulder, shoulder, torso and chassis. And depending on which chassis and torso you use, you will have different abilities. The torso from the Bulgazari, for example, has an area barrage, a rainfall that deals damage in the area, and the Bulgazari legs have a certain amount of speed and capacity for energy and weight. So um, you can mix around, you can equip certain abilities extra, like deploy shields and weapons, and so on. And for this game, a character will make its appearance. A character that we know, we, we also have a few pilots already here that you know, and a pilot will make its appearance here, or perhaps as a character, I'm not sure if it's gonna be a pilot. Let's log into the game and queue up for a match. Um, and that pilot, or no, or that character will be, that is the next question here. Uh, or actually, I think it's in a different order here. Yeah, it's the last question in this case. Which classic War Robots character will make an appearance in War Robots Frontiers? And the answer is not Kyle Rogers and not Yang Lee. The answer is APPM. 3TR. So the robot that you and uh, that you and I probably remember was uh, from the Demeter, I think. Was it Demeter? I believe it was the Demeter, and the APPM pilot was the first pilot that allowed a healing robot in this in this case the Demeter, I think, to heal gray HP, and uh, and it was a very very popular thing back then with the Demeter. So this will be the answer here. Oh. Yes, I already... Ah, I need to sign in with... Okay, gotcha. Uh, I'm not gonna do this now. So, uh, Titles was the first one. Nessa Riggs is the second. And, uh, oh, you know, I sh probably shouldn't summarize it every time. Um, but yeah, APPM is the answer here. Alright. And, um... There is also a little screenshot uh, that I can show... Um... Oh, I guess we have arrived here. I'm gonna spa spawn my Bulgazari. And this is actually a full Bulgazari, where I equipped all parts from the Bulgazari. We have four Bulgazari shoulders, uh, two full Bulgaz Bulgazari shoulders. We have two, uh, we have a Bulgazari torso and a Bulgazari legs. So this is a full Bulgazari in War Robots Frontiers. And you see the graphics is absolutely impressive. We're running four Orcans here. But they don't reach... They, wow, they actually reach this far? I didn't think I could fire this far. Alright. Uh, Q ability. Airstrike coming in from above. Dealing some added damage. 
in War Robots Frontiers, robots have HP and, she uh, and, and armor. And it's different. You have to, with most weapons, we first have, I'm capturing the beacon, in, uh, with first, you have to drop the armor of a robot in most situations before you can start dealing damage to his hull. All robots have a little dash ability, all of them. My buddy here just took out one of the enemy robots. And uh, most robots can also do this, fly up. I'm deploying a little shield here. And you're seeing we're doing a lot of damage to this guy. But I have to go back now and reload. Because Orkans, same as they are in War Robots, uh, in our War Robots game, have a pretty long reload time. Got a kill, but I'm being, being sniped from Inferno Potato up there. Uh, he's sniping me with a pretty strong weapon. I can try to perhaps get an airstrike on him. Yep. Got him a couple of shots in there. And now I'm capturing the beacon. But I think he's now... Oh, he's coming. He's coming in now. Inferno Potato is now coming in. There he is. Oh, I'm getting hit so much there. Probably should be playing a little more careful. And boom! His fury just got absolutely roasted, man. Airstrike on these champs? Oh, I can't do it yet. Now I can. My airstrike is ready. So my Bulgazari plays very well with rockets and with... Uh, oh no, Inferno Potato is coming back. Okay, I got some good damage into him. But my shield isn't ready yet. 10 seconds. Dang it. 10 seconds. That's a problem. Ready. Oh, come on, shield. Yeah! Shield is up. Oh, he walked inside my shield. I was too close to him. All right. Uh, but that was my, my misplay. I should have just gone back. Um, and uh, Alpha Titan is ready, so I can now use the Alpha, which is uh, what we know from Warbots as Titans. Um, and they're massively bigger, much more powerful, very, very hard to take down. And they have very special abilities. And boom, there goes Inferno Potato again. <laughs> what the name, dude? What a name is that? Inferno Potato. <laughs> this is it's hilarious. I like it. Let's reload the weapon. It is just one weapon we have, but it's an insane weapon. Okay, so there is Inferno Potato again. I can shoot a, a charge over there. And now I'm, uh, I'm lasering from above. And he expected it. He goes away from it. Oh, dang it. He noticed it. This is my laser attack. It has a long cooldown of 30, 40 seconds. I can zoom in. Oh, I'm reloading at the wrong time here. I'm trying to go away, but it, 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 they still get me. I don't want to fight a three on one, but there's little I can do when there's just three robots at the same time. And by the way, all aiming has to done manually. Has to be done manually. This guy over there with his sniper. Let's snipe him away. Boom, nice. Got him. And Inferno Potato once again was absolutely ready for uh, my laser attack. Oh, come on. Oh no, I have to reload. It's a terrible time for a reload. Yeah, got him. And now the potato is coming. Um, Titans cannot restore their HP like normal robots. I'm stuck on the ground. I'm stuck. I can't move. That's a problem. Now I have only 1% of my HP. And I'm gone. <laughs> I couldn't move anymore for a sec. Alright, so this is a PC game, by the way. You find it on Steam. Uh, let me... Uh, that's the, our War Robots. Um, for those... I'm sure you guys know Steam, right? This is the Steam launcher. And you'll find it in here when you go to the store. You can type in War Robots Frontiers. I think you can find it here. Yeah, there it is. Uh, so there, there would be the game. Currently costs $15. Or 15 euros but it will become or i think that's the plan i think it will also become a free-to-play game so i'm having my sniper set up here now 
He's, he's, he's shielded. Oh, there comes the rockets from someone else. My goodness, is he playing careful. And there comes the rockets again from someone else. Oh my god, he plays so insanely defensive. Okay, got him. Let's get on the beacon before somebody spawns. Huh? Oh no, that was really terrible bad terrible luck. Enemy time deployed. Okay, I'm I'm using a sniper setup here. I don't wanna be in brawling range. And somebody literally deployed. spawns his robot. The moment I plop my, uh, I, I sit on the beacon with my sniper. I have to get away from here. What? I didn't hit him? Oh, I'm already taking massive hits from the Titan. I'm trying to get away. Trying to play massively careful. Okay, got one guy. There's two titans of the enemy team there. I'm sniping, sniping, sniping. My weapons are only at 50% effectiveness at this range. But now we're starting to deal better damage because the shields are, uh, are disabled. Come on! Yeah, there goes the Titan. Oh boy. I have to recharge my HP. My shields are completely broken in the bottom left. You can see my shields are broken, but I can recharge my base HP. So I'm gonna have a problem now here. Yeah, I won't be able to defeat this thing in short range without... Mm. But someone is doing a lot of damage to it. Nice. We're getting him. Boom! This is a thunder, a thunder setup, by the way. A fury, but I'm only utilizing two out of the three weapon slots. Nice. Enemy time deployed. Enemy Titan deployed. Oh boy, that's a problem. They still have Titans? Hmm. That's a bit of a problem. Really? Oh god. Pixonic, I think the, uh, the, the, the fuel recharge is really too slow. I mean, I was just crossing this little gap and I didn't have enough fuel for that little jump. Okay. I'm not even sure why we need uh, beacons, to be honest. I don't know. Do we need beacons even? Because it's like team deathmatch or something, right? What we're playing here. Um, I'll be giving you the answers to the last question any second now. And again, if, if you have been paying attention on the videos recently, you will not only know this answer, but you will know all six answers. Uh, because um, those Any questions are related deployed. to what's coming up next. And as you know, there is a special server where we test things. Did it just say enemy titan deployed again? How can they still have so many titans? Every player only has one. That's an enemy titan there. I'm trying to capture the beacon, but the titan is coming now. I got the beacon, but I'm absolutely getting slaughtered from behind by another titan. I just had the pleasure of fighting two titans with a normal robot at the same time. That is wonderful. Okay, 
doing a good job here. I'm reloading my thunders now. Where's the Titan? Oh no, he's coming. Oh god, he's coming in. I can't see him through the wall. Oh, there he is. Oh my god, is he hitting me perfectly well? And I'm in this tiny corridor and I can't move away. My goodness, a late Titan is just a brute, most brutal thing in the game. If you have a late Titan spawn, you're just going to rule the world with it. Because a Titan is just many times a robot and I just have no z zero chance against a Titan when I, uh, when I don't have one myself. I it's so crazy. A late spawn Titan is the most insane thing in the world. Here we have Punishers. Uh oh, I have to reload. Terrible timing for a reload. Shield on, healing on, and fire, 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 fire. Ooh! Yeah! Oh, those four Punishers, man, they actually kick some serious butt. What does it say? 6-6? Six, six? Ah, it's the potato. Okay, reloading. And I have my shield ready. And enough fuel to jump after him. Shield deployed and boom! Nice! Good match! Uh, 3.5 million damage we've done. Uh, pretty amazing match. MVP, 14 kills. Uh, yeah, that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, Warabots Frontiers. For those of you who have never seen it, uh, it's an amazing game, and but it's in early stage of development, so don't expect too much just yet. It will, it will become something big, maybe in the future. But um, at this point, right now, um, it's already a lot of fun. But um, you'll find it, it's rough around the edges, and there, there, are, there will be still some. A lot of things need to be done. New content, new maps. Right now, we have three maps, I think. And you can buy content only from what you play. Like you, you, you earn points from playing and those points you earn from playing, you have to invest. You actually, I don't think right now you even can buy any content with real world money. It's just in early stage development. So yeah, and uh, hopefully that was a, an interesting display for you. We're gonna play more of it coming up in the future on my second channel, Good Mood Gaming. Okay, what country is everyone from? Dominic M is asking. Oh, by the way, that reminds me. I should probably first off. Thanks, Dominic. And uh, I'm from Germany, so that I'm making the beginning here. What are you guys from? Um, we have Inuit. Um, what's that noise? You hear that? Um, uh, Inuit uh, guitar uh, with ten pound. Uh, greetings from Enemy One. And is that your name, Enemy One? Uh, I I Inuit in. Inut Gita. Uh, thank you, my friend, uh, and greetings over to, I would assume, uh, England, right? Um, Raul Rodriguez uh, with uh, $2 super chat. Thank you, Raul. We have Lego uh, Master Builder. Are you actually playing a uh, building uh, Lego very well? Um, Tsar35. What kind of currency is that? I've never heard it. Where do I get the answers from the question two? From the two questions on social media? Well, some of those you'll that's actually a good question. I, I don't even know which posts particularly, but if you follow the news, it's about what's coming up. So things that are new, that are upcoming, right? And you can just watch some of the videos I've made recently and you'll also find out what's coming up. But you can also find it on social media. I actually don't know exactly which posts it is. Um, uh, Lord Britannia with $5 super chat, new playlist, I just come to say hello. And what about running the invader? That's a good question. Maybe we can make an invader video sometime. Good idea. Um, Dominic M donated $10 super chat, shout out to Lord for being an amazing admin in the Discord server, friends of the good mood. Yeah, man, that is a good point that you're bringing up. Lord is not only doing a giveaway right now, he's the one uh, co collecting the winners. Um, uh, here and he's also our moderator or late lead um, moderator currently on uh, our 
Discord community server, which you find also in every video's video description pinned comment. It's a massive Warabots community hype. Hi hive. Um, and uh, yeah, a lot of um, things going on there, and he's moderating that thing. Um, so he's doing a great job. So thank you also from, my, from me here at this point, Lord, uh, for, for doing all that. That's a really great job. And uh, also, of course, Dominic and Mirox, we all know them. Uh, they are still sometimes around a little bit, but um, right now it's more uh, Lord who's doing things. Uh, F uh, Fifi Gaming with a $2 super chat as well. Thank you, Fifi. Is that a reference to a doggy? <laughs> Fifi, that's what we call doggies here. Um, so, now the next question. The next question, uh, by the way, Nissa Ricks, I also have, and I should probably show this. I have a little uh, screenshot for you. Let me just open all the questions up that we have here. Um, all the images uh, that I got. I'm opening them right now. Give me a sec. And then you'll see it. And I also have some extra info um, about something else. Although, yeah, the extra info he already answers an extra question as well, but it's okay. It's okay. I mean, I, I think it's it's fine by this point Because I was specifically shared this information to share it here. So bringing back the screen. Hello. Hello <laughs> How have you been? Uh, so question number one. We already answered this before question number two. We answered this before as well question number three um, And now I have to be a little careful again because um, it does seem to have a different order yeah, the question number three is about the next robot that comes to the game and what role he will have. Will he be a raider, a tank, or a sniper? Raider, aka assassin, something that goes in. Like a nether robot would be the typical raider um, robot, right? Uh, and I would think the, um, uh, the, the new Lynx robot that you can win here in the giveaway also. It's probably also a raider, aka assassin. And what's the next role? And for that, I have actually a picture here of the next uh, robot, and that would be him. And you might recognize that from recent uh, test server videos we've done. Now, I'm not specifically answering the question for you here now, but uh, if you go back to these videos and you'll, you'll see what this robot's abilities are and how he works, and um, how tanky or fragile he is, how, many, how much firepower he has, you'll be able to come up with an answer pretty quickly. To this question, I think. And the other question, which robot, a classic robot, will make a comeback in the next War Robots update? The Ropespeary. Ropespeary. What the heck kind of robot is that? I never heard of this robot before. Probably it must be this one, yeah? Uh, we have a boa, possibly, as an answer. Can you imagine the boa coming back as a robot in, in, in the upcoming update? How would the boa be... Um, Powerful, I would really like to see. Or the Spectre. Hmm. Let's see some of those screenshots we've gotten here. That would be um, a special pilot that I've answered before in the other question. Um, uh, that would be down this one. Which classic character makes its appearance in uh, War Robots Frontiers, right? And that we have that little guy. Um, APPM, um, the guy. So uh, let's close that. That is uh, a screenshot I can share in, uh, with you. And that would be uh, a character named Nessa Ricks that we have also spoken about before. And, uh, oops, what does that? <gasps> oh, that looks like a classic robot. Let's hide it real quick. What is it? Oh, no, let's put it away. And then we have a new map coming in. Uh, wait a minute, we all know that map a little bit. And uh, again, if... If you're just following the content, you'll know where to answer a question with this information. And I'm sure you'll recognize this amazingly looking map that I was never really a big fan of and that I'm really afraid of because we have a meta of lasers right now and... Holy smokes, I'm not sure what'll happen if you, um... Yeah, if, if you, you put this map... By the way, the reflections are just beautiful. Look at this. I mean, holy smokes. It hardly looks like a mobile game anymore, right? It's really beautiful. 
So great job. But ah, what was that again? Holy. Um, yeah, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think you can answer these questions now um, with the answers provided throughout this live stream and the pictures I've just shown you that I was actually specifically provided to show. So I'm not spoiling things that I'm not supposed to spoil, I think. People say something about Yamantau in the stream chat. I don't know why they all write Yamantau now. I don't know. Why would they? Why would they now use this word? This word and name Yamantau? How? Why? I don't know. People must be crazy. <laughs> or they know something. Who knows? <laughs> it's also a way, obviously, to get answers if you just follow the stream questions, the, the, the stream chat. So you guys are in there, very resourceful. And I believe I've answered everything. So let's play one last match in War Robots for today, tonight. And then maybe we're putting an end to the stream. When did I start streaming? Five. Okay, so I wanted to stream one, one to one and a half hours, but I think it's a bit more than an hour then. Um, and also, by the way, I've heard so many questions about, or so many comments, right, about me not doing live streams these days and you guys want them back. Maybe I'll do it, but right now I'm focusing more on on-demand video content, aka videos that I can produce at a certain day and I can then just release them over time, right? And um, at, a, <laughs> at a live stream, you always have to be there at a specific time. Uh, all right, so free for all, we're rocking uh, this thing. Not sure if we're going to be able to do a good job getting kills with it. But let's see. An Imugi is starting to fly. Enemy Seraph there. Nobody's shooting him. Maybe we can force him into a flight by shooting him. Maybe he will like, oh no, I need to fly. Okay, I need to fly, it looks like. Okay, he's flying now. Why is everybody attacking me? Oh no. Oh, I just got a random kill. By accident, pretty much. Oh boy, I'm killed. <laughs> but I got one kill at least. Alright, let's, let's use the Lynx with the short range stake weapon. Uh, th it's weird, everybody was either invincible or stealth, right? Nobody was really just uh, in attacking brawling mode. So this guy... Ah, that must be an angler. Yeah, it is an angler. Boom boom, boom boom. Boom boom, we're using our ability here. Probably not be able, gonna be able to kill him before he gets into the next ability. Oh, oh, wait a minute, the, the executioner did it. Oh, he's face shifting. Wait, wait, the harpoon goes through shields? Come on, one more shot, dude. I love this song, by the way. Boom, 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 boom. Come on, get me, give me that kill. Nice. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn it. That was close. That was actually a close call. So, let's go with the Mars. Okay, throwing the turret over there. After throwing the turret, I'll be running faster. Okay, he's probably gonna get back into his ability any second now. There it is. He's not gonna catch me, is he? Okay, he is. Dang it. My targeting was scrambled. I thought I was gonna be able to get out of, out of there fast enough. Yes, okay, I got one kill. I'm not first actually right now. Okay, there's an... Come on! Yeah! Gotten the kill. And... This guy as well. Turns out it's an Imugi or something and we have a hard time hitting it. Hey, here, hold my turret, buddy. I hope I th threw it the right way. Yeah, it's perfectly positioned right next to him, shooting him the whole time. And he's like, what is going on? Who, who's shooting me? Okay, we should be able to get the kill, I'm hoping. Yep, there it is. Very nice. Base shifting. Yeah, it goes through energy shields, this, this one.
Come on. Nice, got him. And him too. Very nice. All right, they got nine kills here. Let's throw the turret over there so to annoy the Titan. Imugi is flying up. This guy's coming up. Oh, he's coming in his ability. There we go. Nah, we're gonna die here now. Pretty sure. Oh, I get him the kill. All right. Let's go with our Titan. Ooh, buddy. Oh, wait a minute. I'm also getting killed here. Yep. Wow, he had the same weapon and he just knocked me out very quickly. I didn't expect to take this much damage, but, uh, dude, he was really giving me some... Some, uh, good damage output. Yeah, this guy's getting killed by him. We can, however, do some something against this Imugi. He's gonna start to fly up. Okay. Alright, let's follow him. Try to sneak that kill. Very nice. Get around the corner. Let them fight it out. I'm only interested in the kill. And there is my kill. Nice. Something is hammering in me from behind. Dude, the music is just going freaking insane mode now. Oh no, another Titan. I want these Titans to fight each other. And... Oh, damn it. I wanted to knock him out with the... Um, uh, with the instant kill ability charge we have. Still in the game. Still first. This is the second placed guy. Okay. Going away here. Just dodging him for the moment. Uh, he's like, ah, screw this. I'm not gonna run after this guy. <laughs> Alright. Oh, he wants me still, though. But if he tries to jump, he might get stuck at the wall. Yep. Why am I not moving? Wow, dude, I was stuck at the wall there for some reason. I don't understand why. Oh, in a moment where these weapons hammer in on you, the one thing you don't want to make do is stand around and get whooped. Mm. He's saying no and shaking his head. Okay. Someone is coming from all the way out left side. Somebody needs to kill that freaking Lucha. Uh oh. This guy's on me now. Lucha is coming. And. Up! Oh, got him! I executed him real quick with the executioner module. <clears throat> it's crazy that you can do this. And uh, really, in my opinion, I'm not a fan of this. There was a. On the test server, we, uh, we all said we don't want the executioner module. And now it's back in the game. It's in the game, anyways in form of a robot. Okay. So they're fighting it out now. Okay. Don't want to get hit. Oh, he's cloaked now. Interesting. He's gonna be able to jump here now. I think I'll soon get killed because there's only so much you can do. My face shift is gone now. 
And no one can kill that Luchador. No one can kill it. Because, again, same as in Warabats before, in Warabats Frontier, a late spawned uh, Titan is a massive force to be reckoned with. A spawned Titan that is lately spawned can change everything. You just cannot defeat him. You cannot begin to, to defeat him. It's not possible. All right, all right, all right, come on. Boom. Got him with the execution, but I can always just run away from the Titan. I will not be able to win the, win the fight against him, I just can't. He is literally impossible to kill for me, but I can dodge him, run a, well, run a somewhere else, and fight the other guys, because it's free fall. I don't have to necessarily get his kill, it's enough to get kills. Who those kills are, doesn't matter. Wow, he got this kill from this far away with these uh, sonic weapons. Unreal. Unreal that he got these uh, kills so far away, man. Trying to slow him down. Yeah, he's he's like, he knows he can't catch me and he knows he won't win. So he's now uh, like turning around doing nothing. Uh, I would like to show the execution of his, his robot, uh, but yeah. Uh, couldn't do it. I, I, I need to bring him down to 15% then I could have executed him, but um, that is obviously difficult with a Titan. Uh, and those Bane weapons are not exactly the most dominant thing. Uh, but his name was Dominic from the Ross, Rose Clan. Greetings, man. Um, you held your own and it, that late spawned Lucha, it was simply impossible to deal with. It was no... I had nothing to deal with this thing. Nothing. Zero chance. Crazy. Crazy what a late spawn Titan can mean in the game. Um, yeah, so ladies and gents, we've answered the questions. We had um, a pretty good fun time with Warabots Frontier and Warabots. There's going to be more Warabots Frontiers content. I will probably um, bring it on um, on the other YouTube channel of mine, uh, which would be Good Mood Gaming. That's this one right there. I'm currently doing a playthrough of Resident Evil 4, the remake, which is really amazing. Um, but I will probably also release this um, the uh, Frontiers content there. So check it out if you want to see it. Um, and uh, make sure to stay here in the video, basically, or when this live stream becomes a video, post your ID and platform there also, because there will be a giveaway drawn from them as well. Whoa! We have a donation coming in from James Murphy with $30. I'm so happy that you are live stream again. James, <laughs> it's good to hear, my friend. I'm not sure exactly how frequently I'm doing it, but um, it's since it's so easy to do and since you guys are really happy with it I'm probably gonna do it sometimes but um, don't count on a month a weekly a regular thing at the same time um, because uh, maybe it's more like how I feel for it but uh, yeah let's see for it thank you so much James you're the man dude that is the donation of the day <laughs> uh, by far uh, also, he became a silver mender as well, James Murphy. Thank you so much, dude. And Ignite Walker with a $5 super chat. Hey, Manny, I'm back to watching your stream again. Good to be back and donate something to get started. Love it. I hope to get your squad together again someday. Uh, yeah, Ignite, um, when we do another co-op live stream, I'll let you know. Uh, I think this I should do something again because I haven't done it in a, in a while. And it's part of our membership perk, so I should definitely get back to it. And uh, we have Enemy has become an AG silver. And Enemy donated $2 through super chat as well. So Gary Solano also became a silver member thank you guys so much all right so i think i was able to cover everything in this live stream thank you so much for it um also nice to be um in the loop and doing things with you here and doing things with pixonic directly um it also shows you that despite me doing some videos where i criticize the game for flaws that in my opinion it has um it doesn't mean that we're all now not not um in good standing with each other because pixel is actually cool with channels even the channels that they are working together with uh, making videos criticizing even sometimes ranting because we're all humans we're all you hum have emotions and um yeah, so some of my videos, and uh, there will also be one coming up where I criticize some things. Um, it's part of it, and, and it also the, the reason we do this means we love the game, right? We would, if we didn't care about it, we wouldn't criticize something. So, and there are a few things that need to be changed. Some of them, um, like the hitbox that I've shown you before from the Imugi, right? So, please get to that. It, it would be... And it, 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 these things are so drastic, I think they actually require like a day one patch. I know it's not that easy to do because iOS has an approval time. I think when you do an update 
for iOS, there is a two-week uh, time that will where they check the client, check everything, and then they approve. So day one doesn't actually work, but it could be really fast, much faster than it is uh, these days. And um, I think we need that uh, with uh, with problems such as skins and. Um, Holes and mid boxes or whatever. Okay, so for now, let's le leave it as that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next uh, video uh, tomorrow, probably. Um, and yeah, have a good time. Have a good Sunday. And uh, again, thank you so much for every contribution here. Thanks, um, uh, Lord, for gathering the winners from this giveaway. 100 life winners, and again, 100 more life will come. Oh, and one more question that I was being asked: Where are the giveaways from the Veyron Titan weapon? Um, they got, I wanted to announce them already, but then there came the test server news and this live stream here and it all pushed it back. I would have already announced them, um, but since I didn't, that means the giveaway is still going and you still can win in the giveaway. Which giveaway am I talking about? That would be on the Manny Gaming channel. Um, this one. New giveaway Aether Titan War Robots gameplay. That is the giveaway worth, where you can win. Uh, one of 200 heavy titan sonic weapons um, and uh, yeah since I haven't got uh, announced and I always announce them and search them the win the day I announce them that since I didn't that means they're still up for grabs okay so stay tuned next two three days the winners will be announced so have you have a good one everybody see you next uh, in another video and um, thanks for watching bye bye